Hi everyone, this is the E-mini S&P 500 futures. I'm on a 2000 tick chart and I'm using a 21 EMA. I started trading at eight central time, which is this area right here. Uh, we've got our overnight low level here and our overnight high over here. These are our key levels for the day. So starting off this downtrend, we get a break very sh shortly after starting. And when a downtrend gets a break, you can expect price to attempt a new low because that's how trends play out. Um, when a trend gets a break, you can expect price to attempt a new extreme. So with an uptrend, of course, that would be a new high. And that's because that's just how they play out. And so when you have this new low down here, when this downtrend has a break and a push to a new low, uh, there was no shorts on the way down to it. But you can expect price to attempt a reversal because when a trend is played out, it's no longer in play. So it's price is much more likely to reverse. And so and that's especially when you're pushing out of the overnight low level, which it's very common to fade back in. And so you get this small attempt right here. It doesn't even reach the EMA. So, you know, there, of course, there's nothing to take here. We push on lower here and then here we finally get above the EMA. And so, like I said, we can expect price to attempt a reversal. The downtrend has played out and we've broken out of the overnight low. But very quickly after closing above the EMA, it does fizzle out and it gets very sideways. So it doesn't form a good reversal pattern. You can take a small reversal pattern that has room to these highs, but ideally you'd fade back in and make a big picture reversal pattern, a clear leg up with a couple legs back, retesting the EMA, or oftentimes retesting the top side of the overnight low. Uh, but we just don't get that here. We push on up, retest the overnight low, and push off of it. And when we push off of it here, we can look for a short. Now, it's not good enough just to take this. Um, it's not good enough just to go short right there because after this breakout, you only have one major attempt to fade. And so it could very easily, you know, you could say you enter right here, it could very easily tick lower and then make a second leg up like something like this, you know. It could very easily push a little bit lower, make a second leg attempting to fade. So I was not wanting to uh, immediately go short there. But what could happen is, say you push lower, and get a clear couple legs back. You know, after this push lower occurs, then you can draw off this trend line and you could have gotten a couple legs back um, retesting that trend line. You know, you could have made a second entry short there and continued lower because if you push lower and then get two clear legs back making a good second entry, that itself would be the second leg from right here. And so you'd have your two big picture attempts at fading. So you'd be safe to go short, but that just doesn't happen. Um, instead, we just push on lower here and we have a second leg down. So two measured legs down. Now, this downtrend, we got a break, two pushes to a new low. That's very common, but it is interesting. It barely broke and then had two very sharp pushes down, like stemming basically from the very low of it. Usually, um, you'd see like a bigger break before getting two clear measured pushes to a new low. Um, so I thought that was interesting how it worked out like that, but you know, it is still the same. Downtrend, break, two pushes to a new low before finding resistance and reversing. So anyway, with that channel here, you got those lows right here and we overshoot. Now overshoots commonly lead to a break. Notice how sharp that move up right there is. It also leads to very comp, <clears throat> excuse me, to very sharp uh, moves in the opposite direction, hence leading to those breaks. Um, now we push on up here, sharp leg up, right after me <clears throat> meeting that measured move, and we form a failed second entry. It's not the most clear, but it's clear enough that you can still clearly see the legs. So push up, two legs back, it's starting to form this resistance right here, and it closes back above the EMA. And I do want to mention on the NQ, the NASDAQ, um, which I was trading to today, this setup also occurred basically right at the same exact time, but it did set up a little bit differently, and I'll, I'll go over that another time. But uh, just sticking to the ES here, we have a couple legs back right after this push up at a common reversal area being a measured move just having been met. Now, I wanted to keep the target within this chop right here. Notice how we have this clear range right here. I don't want to push it out of it, especially because it's cutting it so close with those... Uh, with the high of that trend line right there, but it was within both, so I, you know, it looks perfectly fine to me. Um, yeah, so that that failed second entry, it could have set up a little bit cleaner. I understand that, um, you know, it might not look perfect to everyone, but um, it was right after a major measure move was met, so I really liked that right there. And right as it meets that 
uh, trend line right there, it pushes on lower here. And so that's why we don't want to push it out of that. So even though we had that overshoot, and like I said, overshoots commonly lead to breaks. That doesn't mean you want to expect it to break. You don't want to push your target. You don't want to push your luck. Um, you know. So anyway, it's very common for channels to recover after an overshoot. And so it does that here. We push on lower. It doesn't go very far. Very quickly after breaking out of this little range right here, it pushes back up. And of course, on that push up right there, um, you know, as we push higher, then that gives way for this trend line to be drawn. And so we push on up. Now look here. Now we have two big picture legs up. So at first it was this leg right here, break, another leg up, and you know, then a leg down, another leg up. But on a big picture, this is all one leg, break, and then we formed that second leg up right there. So two legs down, measured move met, and then immediately two legs up, measured move met, almost met. It's within a tick of reaching it, I think. Yeah, it looks like it did. Yeah, it's about one tick short of it. And it barely didn't reach this uh, overnight high. And what would be nice is it reaching that overnight high because then you'd have that retest, which you know adds a lot of probability. Um, but unfortunately, it just doesn't reach it. Now, right here, the reason I have this circled right here is because I do still think that this is a good area for a short. Now, I wanna show how it was a bit choppy at first here. Notice how um, this red bar, it has a good reaction, but it's still within this chop right here. So I'd be a little bit worried about entering on that, but when you close out right here, even though, yeah, it could technically attempt to fade this little range, um, the overall big picture you know, is much more important. And the bigger picture is a measured move has just been met with a very sharp reaction to it, and it's actually managing to push out of that chop right there. So I would just stick with the bigger picture. Now, I wasn't able to get in on this. I was not quite focused enough in this area right here. Um, so I did just, well, when I saw it, it was, let me move that for a sec. It was setting up this right here. It was pushing lower on this lower high. And then that's when I saw this, I was away for a bit. Uh, and then it just pushed on lower. So um, either way, I saw it right after. I was kind of annoyed. I wasn't at the chart at that moment, but either way, it looks good. So I have it circled here. We push on lower. Now I do want to mention really quick, because obviously right when I saw it, the immediate temptation is, oh, just uh, try to get in all the way down here and then just use a shorter stop. But this trend line was a little bit too clear to do that. You don't want to just push right into that green trend line and also this previous gray trend line right there because it could it could bounce right off that corner where it's meeting them both and just go higher. So I, w I did not allow myself to do that. But if you had done that, it would have ended up working. But again, you still don't want to enter right into that. So anyway, we push on lower here. It gets very choppy once it reaches those trend lines. It gets very, you know, just sideways. And then we push on up. With this gray trend line, I, um, this one right here, at first I had it right off there, but then I extended it to here after we pushed up. And it actually fits pretty well off these highs right here. And uh, we pushed on up, we reached the overnight high. So after those, I do want to mention, after those two attempts to fade, we did not fully reverse. Very common to, you know, get those two attempts to fade. The overnight high, of course, pushing off that measured move, it's very common to just push into a reversal. Um, but in this case here, it broke that trend line, but just a little bit and then ended up pushing higher. And now we've got this pretty clear uptrend now. And so we push on up, we reach the overnight high here. And this is an area that we can expect price to push off of and very commonly form a failed second entry. Now, I'm gonna remove that just because the trend line's been extended. And so if we push lower and make a good failed second entry, that can offer us a great short, but in this case here, we just don't get that. We get this you know, little push down, a break, new low, immediately reversing, and then that's where we are now. So we can still get something like that. It could still push off of here and make something like that. Um, but at this point, what I'm thinking I'd rather see is is just a couple pushes down to this key entry point for a long entry. So we'll see what happens. That's going to do it for this video. I hope it helped out in some way, and thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.